Hi everyone, this is Matteo and today I'll show you how to create an Olympic Games analytics dashboard using Snowflake. We will use three main Snowflake features, Streamlit, Snowflake Notebooks and the external access integration. So if you're ready for it, let's get started. All right, this is the uh, GitHub repository containing uh, the code that we will need to execute and to deploy this demo in your account, in your Snowflake account, and also the data set that we will use uh, to make our analytics on the Olympic Games. So the files are mainly those three, the setup.sql that we will run on the Snow site worksheet to create databases, schemas, and so on. This notebook that we will import in Snowflake and it will allow us to fetch and store in tables the information provided in this dataset folder. So we will loop throughout all those files and we will push them straight from a GitHub repository, from a GitHub folder, straight into tables. Maybe it's not the most elegant way to push data into Snowflake, but it's still a very effectful way for the sake of this demo. And then the third file is the Olympic Games Data Hub, which is a Python code of our Streamlit app. We can simply copy paste that in, uh, in our Streamlit application. So this is the content of the setup.sql. It's creating the database, creating the schema, creating uh, the warehouse, and then the network rule and the external access integration required to communicate with our GitHub repository. So we are, let's say, kind of whitelisting those domain so that we can then get access to this content uh, as an external access integration in the notebook. And that's why when we move into the second step, the notebook that we had in our GitHub, we have to make sure that we are enabling in the network settings, the external access integration for the GitHub external access indeed. So that we will have in this notebook, this function here that is actually fetching data set from a GitHub. So as an input, as a parameter, there is the URL. So we are reading the content, we are getting the content of this URL and then we are basically converting it to a data frame and we are returning it to, the, to a data frame. We will use this function in this loop that we are reading through all the different uh, URL uh, of the different files uh, in our dataset folder and we are loading all those dataset in different tables that we are creating uh, automatically. So we are taking the, color, the, data, the table name from the file name, so we are keeping the same track name naming convention and then we are just pushing all the content of, of, of those files on those tables uh, newly created. So we have six files in the dataset folder. We are gonna have six tables in our Snowflake account with all those statistics and numbers regarding the Olympic games. Then in the notebook, we can also explore um, the dataset we just loaded. We can do it in many different ways. We can do it via Python so we can run the session.table name of the table and put some limit condition. And we can verify that here we loaded successfully all the Olympic Games medal tally. Of course, we can do also via SQL. So the beauty of, of the Snowflake notebook is that you can combine Python code, SQL code, and eventually mark down for your comments. And in this case, for example, I'm checking which were the tallest athletes competing in the Olympics. And no surprise, the majority of them were all basketball players. Then we can do also something a bit more advanced. We can also run some more advanced analytics. For example, in this case, we are interested to see which are the countries that uh, in the old time history collected the, the majority of uh, the gold medals. So we are crunching a little bit this data frame. We are filtering, we are aggregating. And then by importing, and let's not forget to import here, the Plotly library package, we can also graph some information within our Snowflake notebook. So here we have a pie chart showing us which are the countries with the highest number of gold medals in the whole modern Olympic history. Of course, we can keep experimenting. We can keep adding new additional cells with new additional analysis. But now what we want to do is to make those uh, uh, analytics available to everyone, not only to people that uh, knows uh, Python or that can code in SQL, but just make dashboards that can be available to everybody. And that's why we jump into the Streamlit. So we can copy paste the code that we had in the, in the GitHub repository and have in our Snowflake account the Streamlit app up and running. 
The stream meetup is showing us with uh, a landing page where we are describing the number of available analysis at this point, and also a summary of the data set. So which are the tables that we are using and the number of records rows for each of those tables. Now let's look at the analytics that we can perform. The first one, pretty interesting, is a gold medal comparison by country. So we can select which are the edition we want to consider. Uh, yeah, 2020, and then that's also the one in the middle, the 2016. And then we can define the countries we want to compare across those editions. Let's put a couple of countries, United States, Italy, France. And we can see how yeah, the, how many gold medals each country is getting on each edition and kind of what's the trend there. For a specific trend by country, we can also have this other kind of analysis where we have two different lines where we are dividing Summer Olympics and Winter Olympics and we have the full trend for a specific country. So it can be the United States, it can be Italy, and we can see what's the trend throughout the day history in terms of uh, gold medals that uh, they got uh, throughout all the events. We can also see the medal distribution over the time. That's also a pretty interesting one, as uh, it's sh giving us an idea of how many new disciplines uh, were added in the Olympic Games throughout the history. So we started on the edition of 1896 that there were only 36 medals that were uh, given to the athletes. Now there are more than 400, which means that there are most probably more than 400 different disciplines that uh, athletes are competing against. Similar trend is for the Winter Olympics. Bit less discipline, but still a consistent increasing trend. Again, we can even check the top athletes by medals. So we can see which are the top 10 athletes in terms of medals that they got during the Olympic Games. And we can also get a drill down for each athlete in which edition they got uh, the medals or they competed to a specific event, what kinds of sport they were competing at and the type of medal that they got. And last but not least, but there might be many other analytics that we, can, we could run. And I really invite you to run additional analytics on this data set, start changing your uh, stream it up or your notebook to add additional analytics. But the last one that I want to share is also the event participation analysis. So you can see how the very first modern Olympic Games, there were only 243 participants. Now the last Olympic, the one we had four years ago, there were 11, more than 11,000 athletes competing to win an Olympic medal. So it's pretty exciting how this is becoming getting bigger and bigger as an event. And it's exactly the same trend also for the winter edition. Again, many other an analytics could be done either by adjusting the Python code that is powering this up so that those uh, analysis are going to be available for everyone, for everybody. Or again, if you are more into the data exploration, more into the notebook style, you can keep adding additional cells here to build your graph, to show your tables with all the kind of uh, analytics that you would like to perform. You have created your Olympic Games analytics dashboard with Snowflake. Now feel free to analyze your data further and to explore new statistics. And if you have any questions or you find some interesting stats that you would like to share, just post them in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this demo. Thanks for watching this video.